gonna be a quick one. Yeah, see, uh, tomatoes got blooms on them all over the place. Uh, that one don't. There's some more. Some more up in here. Uh, squash have blooms and squash on them. Uh, that one does, and I thought another one over here did. The uh, butternut squash is looking good. Garlic's looking good. The tomatoes up here are looking good. Sorry about that. Uh, banana peppers up here looking good. Cucumbers are looking really good. Y'all remember these were these were transplants. Then were planted from seeds. These right here have cucumbers. Look at that. Look at that. Have cucumbers on them. Flowers all over them. Watermelon's doing good. Peas are doing good. Uh, cantaloupes are doing good. These squash are really doing good. You guys can see just about every plant has squash on them. It's a good thing since it's a squash plant, right? Potato is finally coming up. Topsy Turvy's doing pretty good. We got two more tomatoes planted. These are our suckers, actually, off of some of these. Uh, just planted them in an old toolbox. John Parker, I got my Parker peaches in. I got three of them. Got them planted. They're looking good. They're bouncing back. Uh, strawberries, got some blooms. That's a good thing. Artichokes, uh, Jerusalem artichokes are looking pretty good coming up. Got sunflowers or yard beans back there. Got sunflowers and yard beans both planted. I can't remember which is which. Let me get back to you in just a second. My mom's patio. This is her tomatoes. They are looking really good. They were up to that first line when they were planted and now they're almost up to the third line. Pineberry, more tomatoes, they're looking really good. Tomato in the pot, these are I can't remember. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, grapefruit. She planted some grapefruit seeds, two of them there. So, cucumbers around a tomato, it's probably not gonna work good, but we did it. She did it. These are tomatoes in the pot, it's okra up here. Her topsy turvy is looking pretty good. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, over here in my grandfather's little garden, it's got peppers. Tomatoes are looking very good. Cucumbers right here. I don't know why it's pulled out. Uh, more tomatoes. Looking very good. barn garden real quick like got something new down there I'm trying so I don't know how it's gonna turn out but my tomatoes I mean potatoes I built this raised bed I'm gonna fill it up with uh, topsoil over my potatoes instead of raking the dirt up to them I'm just gonna bury them leave a little bit out and then uh, I can screw to that and make it taller and taller as we go. Black eyed peas, black eyed peas, black eyed peas. This is squash. These are these squash were planted two weeks after the first planting. And then we got tomatoes over here on both sides. And for mulch, we're using uh, magnolia leaves that we got plenty of. All the way back here. I was out bush hogging the other day. I wanted to put this on here and uh, found a pawpaw tree. I didn't know what it was, so I took some pictures and put it on. Group I'm in, 
He told me it was a pawpaw tree. And I went back down there and looked again. I found six more of them. So we have seven pawpaw trees, which I will be doing a video next time I go back there. I got blackberries. I have to pick me a couple of these every time I'm down here. Some good stuff. I usually eat them in the mornings. I got this on here just to kill kill everything. Does a good job. Anyway, that's a garden update. Just wanted to get a quick video of it. I got my clothesline up today. Oh, so I'll be drying my clothes on the clotheslines. And this was actually my grandmother's clothesline from years ago. We dug it up. Uh, it was actually knocked down and laying in the dirt for, I know, a good 15, 20 years. And uh, I dug it up and sunk it three foot in the gown down here, two foot, seven inches down there, put some wire on it, and buy grannies. I'm going to hang some clothes. Next time I wash clothes, which I just washed them, so I hung them out on the line next door. But now I got my own set up here. So, another look at the garden from up here and explore.